So we gave them hearty cheers, me boys, which was greeted with a smile. Sing it to lose the prize, but fear no noise, we're the fight. What is up guys, Good here. And before the video starts, I want to give a 30 second shout out to all my majors and generals on the channel, Giancarlo Goes, Sean Hutchins, Matt Birch, Scouts of Entertainment, Lance the Clone, Super 61, Samuel Payne, Mars the Doomer, Big Mr. Critic Man, Joshua Robbins, F.R.A. Zach Gale, ICW15, Rhino Mill, Bryce Fox, Bagel, Alan Stafford, Nate Fitz, General Jackson, Dustin Boyd, Seattle Sway, Justin Whitelock, Micah L, Thomas Pulzone, Tyler Kuntz, Preacher, Ryan Miller, and John Graber. Alright guys, enjoy the video. Alright guys, welcome to the 2.1 ACW mod. Uh, today we're going to be doing a 1v1. This is going to be a historical match on Fredericksburg of 1862. Oh, look at those cannons go. Ripping into Confederate positions. No kills just yet. Okay, now there's kills. Oh man, that artillery is loud. So yeah, this is Fredericksburg. This battle is absolutely insane. Um, I believe almost 20,000 people on this map. Uh, so we're going to be pushing out, uh, and everything is historical. Now, the movements I'm making might not be super historical. As you can tell, we got like 10 units all clustered up in the town. Um, but my game plan here is to push hard on this left flank. So I am sending my guys in. A lot of iconic units. We got the 51st New York see the 66 New York as well. Got the Zuavs looking sexier than ever. Oh, a little laggy here. Um, so yeah, it's going to be mildly laggy here and there just because of the amount of people on this map. Um, but we're going to be assaulting Confederate positions. They're going to be holding this hillside here. And they have a really good defensive structure with the stone wall pretty much going the entire length of the battlefield here. So I'm not going to be putting any forces really on this left flank. Uh, as you can tell, my artillery that I placed here already routed from the field and are heading back home. Damn cowards. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I am going to have multiple lines of reserves as I push in. But look at all these units. 69th New York, 5th New Hampshire, 28th Maine. I mean, it is just endless. All these units were here historically, and it just blows my mind. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be pushing up on the left flank. Now, I know how threatening his artillery is on this map. Um, for some reason, they shoot like laser beams right at you, and it's just always a direct hit. So trying to take these guys out early is always a good situation. Uh, and they're going to be running from the battlefield. Looks like this unit did come back. Now, another thing to note with this Confederate force a ton of the units here are pretty upgraded, so they're going to have remarkable morale, uh, and same thing goes for shooting. Their accuracy is going to be uh, very, very accurate, but look at this view, man. Oh my goodness, my guys are glitching in and out, but what a view besides the Play-Doh ground. Um, the snow doesn't look too great, but I can't complain. It's snow. I like snow. So here we go, pushing in. 8th Ohio's taking some shots. Already lost four men. Uh, but I have many to spare here. Many guys to spare. Another really good hit there from uh, their artillery. Now, I'm going to be wrapping on the far left flank. So I'm going to be forming up my line on the extreme flank. And look at the amount of reserves. Look at this. This is insane. Yeah. <laughs> We got Charles, Brigadier General Charles Griffin here, inspiring the men as they move out to battle. Look at this line. Oh my goodness. And of course, oh man. Hopefully uh, no one was in that house when that went down. And look at this. We got the 9th New York. These guys look awesome. I mean, just straight out of War of Rights. Uniforms look amazing. Oh my goodness, dude. This is going to be a fun match. 
It's always fun just watching these guys march and die from artillery fire. <laughs> There's nothing quite like it. <laughs> so yeah, continuing to push my guys up on the left flank. Now, my opponent, Clink, is also another YouTuber. I'm going to shout him out in the description if you guys do want to go check out his channel. Awesome guy. Um, and also, I'm going to be linking the ACW 2.1 mod from CHMS. Uh, 96 TMS. So if you guys do want to check out this mod, I will leave a link in the description to that as well. Um, but yeah, so far really enjoying it. Now I don't know exactly what the differences are between um, Cold Front sub mods and uh, CH's sub mod. Um, but regardless, <laughs> I really enjoyed this uh, this mod. So yeah, once again, I'm going to be focusing more fire on this artillery position. Both units did come back just because they're insanely high morale. These guys came back with five guys. And they're still going to be firing. Let's see if they shoot their own guys in the back here. Oh, come on. Do it. Do it. Come on. Order 66, man. Ah, oh, damn. Do it. <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, it definitely does take some time for my guys to get up to the front line. But look at this, man. It's insane. So once again, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be wrapping around the artillery so I don't shoot my own guys. And then I'm going to be pushing about 90% of these units here in column formation over to the left flank. And we're going to have multiple reserve lines ready to push in when need be. Uh, we got the 46 North Carolina here. Their clink's left flank, or right flank, is extremely weak uh, in terms of manpower. Um, however, you will see the devastation that he can cause with this artillery. Um, man, this looks awesome, dude. I'm loving it. Look at these guys. A little jittery here and there, but man, can you imagine being here and experiencing this? 20,000 people on this battlefield. Absolutely mind-blowing. So here, I'm going to be pushing up some guys in the center, uh, kind of as um, a decoy in a way. I'm just trying to force his guys not to move over to the left flank. I want to keep some guys here just in case um, I do decide to push, which is highly unlikely seeing that all these guys are over here. Uh, but yeah, the engagement is about to begin. 20th Mink taking the lead here, but they are up against quite an obstacle. As you can tell, hiding behind that stone wall is really going to give them a lot of cover. And I also like how there are other lines on top of the hill. Uh-oh, first shots of the game. Who are they shooting? Looks like they're going to be aiming at the 53rd Pennsylvania here. No losses so far, which I'm kind of surprised about. But the, <laughs> the snow is going to be turning red very shortly. Oh, man. But yeah, continuing up the artillery uh, engagement here on the left flank. Woohoo, that shot going right over, and there we go. Now we're starting to take some losses. 51st Pennsylvania taking a beating, but are going to get some return fire going as well. Let's check out the casualty report for these guys. Lost six men, I think partly due to, mainly due to actually artillery fire. So these guys really aren't getting many kills at all. Great barrage there from my artillery piece. Knocking down some more guys. Oh, another good hit there. Oh, you cry, baby. <laughs> Just die already. Alright, so morale is getting bad for the 51st. They might be the first ones to go on this side of the flank, but look at these boys. They're ready. <laughs> oh, they're so ready. Look at the amount of units. Oh, good God. I would be crap in my pants if I was a confederate on uh, <laughs> Clink's team here. Looks like the 66 is going to start taking some losses as well. Good volley fire there into the 16th Georgia. However, once again, horrible aiming skills from the Union troops alongside hiding. Ooh, that's loud. Oh, alongside hiding behind a stone wall is not going to be too effective for me. So, it uh, looks like one unit has already broken from the battlefields. Man, taking some pretty heavy casualties there. But here we go, making the assault now. I am going to be getting very aggressive here on two-thirds of the map. Now, the important thing to remember is running your men in this mod will decrease their morale drastically. And 
Uh, this game is all about morale. You want to maintain high morale, otherwise you're going to turn into some Frenchies running. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Do you want to run or not? I, I don't know. I think they're just so shocked in fear that they don't want to move. But look at this carnage. Absolute bloodshed coming down on the 8th Ohio, down to 98 men. These volleys are just destroying my guys. Oh my goodness. And yep, there they go. So another unit has been broken. Another couple units has been broken. 130th Pennsylvania now forming up to shoot. They're going to be engaging against the 24th Georgia. Now, fortunately enough, uh, 24th Georgia is kind of on the edge here. They're kind of sticking out of the stone wall a bit. So it might make it a little bit easier for me to shoot at. Oh my goodness, look at this carnage! Oh my gosh, I would not want to be here! Oh dear. <laughs> oh, this is not fun to watch. And uh, playing this, excuse the lag guys, it's just so many people. Um, it will get better through time. Uh, but here we go, charge... nope, they're routing. Okay, come on 7th. 7th West Virginia, is that right? I think so. They're going to be charging into the second South Carolina. Man, still getting shots in as they charge. Oh, man, these guys need some reinforcements. Yeah, Confederates are shooting still in melee. That's incredible. They're also getting shot from the hillside as well. But here we go. The bulk of my force is now starting to push up. I'm getting very aggressive on this left flank. Uh, don't tell these guys in the front rank, but these guys are purely here to be meat shields for the second wave coming in. I'm just trying to... Close this distance and allow my guys into melee combat. But as you can tell, even in melee combat, things are not working out too well. Now, fortunately enough, I was able to break through uh, in the center of a choke point or uh, a defense point that was not being defended. I probably could have worded that better. But I'm going to be shooting uh, the 34th, 34th New York uh, in the back. Or uh, the 15th New York in the back. And these guys are going to be turning around to face me. So, so far, I'm, I'm really not liking this situation. I got a lot of guys routing from the battlefield. However, the bulk of my left force is still yet to be used. They are, uh, they're taking heavy losses. There's no doubt about that. But they are definitely getting closer to that stone wall. And from the, uh, Confederates' perspective, that's not a, be that's not a pretty view. I, I would still not be enjoying my time if I was a confederate right now. Yes, I'm getting a ton of kills. However, there is many more kills uh, that have to come to sway this battle. Uh, but here we go, starting to engage on the extreme right flank. Uh, and he's going to start flanking me here. So sending in his reserves in the bank that aren't being used whatsoever. 20th Maine. They're going to have to hold firm if they want to maintain that flank. But here we go. Good melee engagement here in the center. We got Phillips Legion up against the 28th main. But look at this frenzy. Absolute slugfest. Good lucky there. <laughs> These guys are just getting mowed. Oh, that's so unfair. They're still shooting in melee. What is this? <laughs> So I did manage to break through the first line of defense here for the Confederates. And I'm moving on to the second line. Oh, this lag is crazy. I think it will get better in the next like, 30 to minute, but 30 seconds to a minute. We got a slow-mo cinematic charge. Not really. <laughs> the uniforms make up for it, though. Oh, all right. So charge it into the 16th Georgia. Here we got four <laughs> units up against one right now. And I'm also trying to push to the second wave. We got a ton of flag bearers over here. Woohoo! That does not feel good. That does not feel good. We're finally getting into melee on multiple sides. Uh, right flank, once again, is really struggling. They're not doing too hot. And I'm actually going to tell them to fall back a little bit and reposition their line. But let's just take a moment to admire... How many guys are running from the battlefield? Uh, I have yet to break any Confederate unit. Actually, I take that back. I broke one, but I think... Oh, it was a line unit. That's awesome. Okay, so we have taken out a line unit. We are having a lot of success, success on this flank. Um, and 
another thing to note is if you get flanked in this game, uh, your morale drops drastically. So that's one of the reasons for that. Uh, over on this flank, I am rapidly trying to inspire the men to keep the morale high. Now, fortunately enough, we have started to break through on the far left flank, uh, breaking the 8th South Carolina here. <laughs> oh, man, we got Couch. What a name. <laughs> Darius and Couch. But yeah, Confederates are starting to struggle here. However, morale is very bad for me in the center. 62nd, 14th New York, and 9th Maine are all struggling to maintain uh, the melee fight. But once again, coming in with another general. I have so many generals here. Uh, I believe 5 or 6 in just this area here alone to keep the morale high. And there goes one of my generals routing from the battlefield. Uh, but an overview of this, it's not looking too good. We, once again, like I said, a lot of guys routing from the fields. Right flank's not looking too good either. Um, I do have a nice flanking force uh, up the 15th Main up against the 19th Mississippi. However, that's probably not going to hold as well. The amount of times this guy's told me that I've <laughs> been routed. <laughs> Oh, there goes another general. Oh, so unfortunate. These guys have lost 10 men. Only 10 men. That is remarkable. The, these guys are excellent fighters. My goodness. 7th South Carolina, dude. Good lord. <laughs> they are just destroying all. Oh, there goes a zoo off. No. <laughs> So much bloodshed here. So what I'm going to be trying to do now is I have some guys in melee combat and others that are just sitting on the sidelines. So I'm going to be trying to shoot them in the back as I try to uh, engage in melee as well. I know this melee engagement's not, it's working, but it could be better. Alright, these guys are finally down to 140 beds. <laughs> oh, they're losing nothing. I mean, how many guys is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine units up against one. Absolutely incredible. So we have taken out a general. I'm hoping for a morale boost there. And I'm going to be charging the 17th and the 51st into the 15th South Carolina to kind of keep them from shooting. Uh, yeah, this right flank is pretty much gone. Hopefully they come back from the battlefield. I have set up a reserve line on this road here waiting for these guys to arrive. Uh, we have the 19th main up against the 15th North Carolina. And these guys are uh, they're both duking it out. However, once again, 15th North Carolina should probably take that. So one thing, uh, I think the biggest move I can possibly be possibly be making here is with the second Delaware. So I have them on the flank here, and I'm just going to let them shoot. Now, as you can tell, instantly uh, that morale drops uh, for the Confederates. Just being on the flank like this. So always flanking your opponent is a solid idea. Uh, however, <laughs> the, the morale just miraculously bounces back. Oh my goodness. Absolutely insane. This battle is something else. This 15th South Carolina still ripping my guys a new one. I mean, it's fish in a barrel at this point. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Ooh, it's like, and the artillery. Oh, man. That is cruel. That is very cruel. So I'm going to be charging the artillery position now. We'll see if these guys can get another shot off in time. I don't think so. He's loading it. Can he get a shot off? Oh no, he might actually be able to. Oh no. <laughs> oh, this one's just making a whole line. Oh my goodness. Part of the Red Sea right there. Or I guess Blue Sea. <laughs> So yeah, getting some return fire in on the 15th South Carolina. 
but a tough engagement. But I am starting to see some good pro Another shot, dude, are you kidding me? Guys, what are you doing? Oh, they're routing, but they're frozen. All right, we got ninth New York here. Hopefully they can clear things up on this flank. Love the ninth New York. So, uh, awkwardly fighting in melee. <laughs> Oh, he just killed the officer, I think. Oh, that's not good. So, yeah, once again, still, this guy has not been broken. 7th South Carolina is an insane unit. <laughs> uh, so, Confederate forces are now breaking me on the right flank as well, and, and things are just not looking good, man. They're really not. I need this one unit to break for me to push up the rest of my forces. We are going to be taking that artillery position. We did manage to route one of the the 8th South Carolina, but they are coming back from the battlefield and then forming up. Um, but yeah, it's really just coming down to this one unit. And here we go. We might actually be able to break through. Um, I'm shooting a lot of my guys in the back trying to take this unit out, but it is well worth it if I can route them. I am getting occasional kills there. And there we go. So breaking them from the battlefield. This is really going to open things up for me on this flank. Um... And once again, I need to take out these artillery positions. So we got the 9th New York coming in once again. They're going to be trying to take out that artillery. So I think the lag is pretty much gone for the majority of the battle now. Um, or the rest of the battle, I should say. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Uh, but yeah, looks like the uh, second engagement is starting up on this other flank. Um, I'm going to hold this road. However, I know I have little hope in the... Uh, Union troops to hold this flank. Um, the amount of chevrons these guys have is remarkable, and my guys have nothing. <laughs> He's got one, but he had to earn it. Confederates didn't have to earn their chevrons, they were gifted them. <laughs> uh, and also, to give you guys kind of a perspective, um, the Confederates did win at Fredericksburg. Um, it was a decisive victory for Robert E. Lee. Um, but here we go, 9th New York going to be sh uh, shooting at routing units, and more reinforcements are arriving. These guys are pretty fresh for the most part. Really, I haven't seen too much action. And they're going to be supporting their right flank. Oh, no, these guys are getting shot in the back. 61st New York, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, but let's take a moment to admire the amount of bodies on this battlefield. It is wild. As you can tell, about 90%. I say 70% are all Union troops. I mean, man. <laughs> Someone ordered a, a car carpet installation on the side of a mountain. Huh? Look at this picnic area. That'd be a great place. <laughs> Anyways, slides are being formed up. Is this not... Okay, artillery piece does not want to leave. Oh my gosh, dude. He just knocked five guys back with one push. This guy's on steroids. Kill him. Kill him. This guy doesn't want to die. He's dodging everything. Come on, you got it, dude. Kill him. Take him out. What is... What is this guy made of? Last guy in the unit, and he's just standing here. What a mad lad. Are they gonna execute him? Oh man, I'd love to see. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, no mercy. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> that was probably one of the most epic deaths I've ever seen. <laughs> oh man, that's great. So pushing more on the left flank now. I have managed to break the 8th South Carolina. And the boys are forming up yet again. We still hold the numbers advantage. And that's partly due to the fact that my guys decide to run away and then come back from the battlefield. So once again, another line being drawn here. I'm getting occasional kills, as you can tell. Very few. But I am starting to rack up some kills Now back on this left flank, I know I need to be aggressive. I'm sending a lot of units here on the left flank, and they're going to be ramping around, uh, trying to, um, you know, cut off uh, any flanking moves that the Confederates decide to do. 
And I know I have the numbers game, so I can just out ex overextend. Um, I don't know if that's the right word to say. <laughs> Outflight, there we go. Outflight. Uh, but yeah, third South Carolina is getting hit pretty hard in the process of forming up. But these chevrons are definitely a problem. Alright, 48 North Carolina just about formed up. Now, another thing I've noticed is there's a house here. So we might be taking use of this house shortly. Uh, we'll see. Uh, when that time comes. But I'm really not happy with this unit having the high ground right now. Um, definitely a big threat to my guys. I'm trying to target them. I even have my general hiding behind a little shed here, but he's having none of it. He's going to be routing from the battlefield. But here we go. Engagement is starting to pick up on this left flank. Look at this, though. I am getting flanked by the 46th North Carolina. My guys are slowly forming up. Now, some of these guys are tired from the melee engagement, so I'm trying to rest them up as much as possible. And here we go. So one thing I find in this game is you can have some pretty thick lines. It's alright to have thick lines. A lot of your guys do shoot. But let's check out this return volley from the Union lines. So they're currently at 109 guys. Let's see what we can bring them down to. Come on, boys. Start shooting, guys. Come on. What is this, a staring contest? There we go. Alright, that was one of the worst volleys I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> they just get ripped to do one. <laughs> what is that? 103rd New York, what are you doing, man? Alright, we're just gonna admire the carnage from this, this group here. These guys are taking some heavy losses. Forty-seven right now. Oh, a little glitchy there. I'm waiting for this next return volley to come in. Ooh, the audio is loud. Excuse me for that. Oh, they broke. That's why there's no return volley. Awesome. So, breaking that one unit there. Got them down to 82 men. And uh, once again, going to be reforming my guys to engage. Uh, the 15th South Carolina. These guys have been... A crucial asset for the Confederates. I mean, look at the amount of chevrons they burned. Remarkable. So that is going to be a tough engagement. Over on the right flank, uh, I'm actually going to be targeting my artillery piece onto the 12th Mississippi here. Um, I do have a lot of active cannons here firing, so I need that flank to crumble, and the morale is starting to drop. Uh, but morale for the Confederate series actually not looking too good. Um, this is probably the most success I've had in, in some time right now, uh, and it's looking fantastic. Now this match is far from over. Um, still way too close to call who's gonna win this, but we got another big line pushing up over this berm here. They're gonna be trying to engage these Confederates. And at this point in time, I am actually going to be sending the 145th Pennsylvania into the house to hopefully get some flanking fire. Look at that stealth. They didn't even know. <laughs> oh my goodness, these guys are getting hit hard. Stealthy guys, 145th. So yeah, look at this. They got their own little balcony to shoot off of. I mean, this is the life. I mean, getting some great flanking fire. Those poor Confederates down there. Confederates aren't looking too good. They really aren't. Another unit routing from the battlefield. However, they are coming back. So even though I do break them, they're yes, going to be back in the engagement. So continuing to push up once again. Now, I really need to take these guys out quickly. Otherwise, my flank is going to be gone. Um, I know these three units aren't going to be able to hold off all these Confederates here. I'm hoping artillery can win me this engagement. Uh, it has managed to break one of these units, however, there's still plenty more to break here. And look at this, having these guys on the flank of both units really is dropping the morale here. Now, one thing I should have done to capitalize on this is just charge these guys down and make sure they do not come back from the battlefield, because they're routing with 267 men. I wish I knew this sooner. <laughs> 
Uh, so yeah, they are probably going to come back from the battlefield. There's another unit that came back, and another one. So pushing in again, but look at this. Look at the amount of units I have that are just running for the hills. I mean, it is longer than a train. Absolutely insane line of routing, man. And then you have so many running here. <laughs> it's crazy to see. Uh, but yeah, once again, engaging these guys on the flank. These guys are getting hit hard, man. They're getting hit really, really hard. I would not want to be a guy standing on this flank right now. Also love the blood splatter in this mod. I know they had it for the original ECW mod, but uh, it's always a nice, nice scene. So here we go. Things are really starting to look poor for me. Uh, my guys in the house are its burning. They're retreating. For some reason, it took a lot of damage, and they are out of there. I don't know if it was artillery. It probably was artillery. I just don't know who would have shot that. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be putting another unit in the house. Once again, trying to rack up as many kills. Now, smart move here from Clink. He's going to be falling back quite a bit. I'm going to be pushing up to continue this engagement. But I really wish I could have isolated these guys a little bit longer to help my main force just kind of dwindle down these confederates. So, reforming yet again. And I'm going to be allocating these units that were on the flank of the confederates to face front on the 8th Florida and 49th North Carolina. 88th New York up against a big feat here. They are outnumbered probably three, maybe even four to one. Artillery though, coming in, getting a couple kills there. Um, but yeah, these guys are gonna rout very quickly. I, uh, this, this volley is just gonna destroy them. But they're fighting valiantly right now. Uh, what are they doing? Okay, they're readjusting. I'm waiting for this volley to come in any second now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Down to 78, just like that. Yeah, not looking too good, man. Yep. And they are gone from the battlefield. <laughs> not good here. Uh, on this flank, things are going okay. I'm slowly taking these guys out as they form up. As you can tell, losing about 30 guys in the process. Get shot in the back. Yeah, that sucks. But yeah, they will be forming up shortly here. Morale is wavering, but they will remain in the fight. And here I go, closing in the gap. I am trying to finish these guys off as quickly as possible because I have a huge, huge threat on my flank and I have nothing to count on. Besides two units and there are three units and they're they're not gonna last long. So um, they need these guys gotta break these Confederates soon. We got the ninth York still in the game. There are only two chevrons, man. These guys are badass. They've definitely helped me out a lot, especially in uh, the counter battery charging those guys. It must be their lucky day. They're not being targeted <laughs> targeted whatsoever. Um, it's the seventh Rhode Island that are getting hit hard right now. Now, I have a whole unit in this house, however, um, I guess the house isn't stable. <laughs> I mean, obviously it's not stable, uh, but these guys are going to take a, a full, like, Humpty Dumpty, and that whole house is just going to collapse on them. So yeah, these suckers, these poor guys, <laughs> they, they think they're living in paradise right now, but little do they know. Dude, I really like this flanking fire, though. Holy crap, you guys are running quick. Where are you guys off to? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, my morale is really starting to drop at this point, and that is because of this flank here. Oh, great hit from the artillery there. I don't know if, it the, if the fire causes added damage, because I'm not seeing... Oh, there they go. Nope. Bullets can drop a house. If you shoot a... <laughs> if you fall into a house, your house will fall down. <laughs> Who built that house out of twigs, man? What is that? <clears throat> That's interesting. Anyways. We got one flank here from the 
second Delaware. Yeah, they're going to be shooting on the flank. Try to rack up some kills here. And they do get a couple here and there. Actually breaking that unit. Uh, but yeah, I am in disarray. Things are not looking good. It is coming down to the final moments here. But what a back and forth game. Uh, we still have one unit here. They actually managed to route the 19th Mississippi. 5th New Hampshire. Doing a damn fine job. Um, they're getting in a little bit of a frenzy with the routing units and getting shot in the process. So they're not going to have a good time there. These guys are definitely not having a good time. 44th New York. Another awesome looking unit going to be routing. And the general unable to inspire the men any men. Inspire the men anymore. There we go. <laughs> uh, I can only sit back and watch his men die. Um, so we got the 12th New York here. It looks like the 9th New York ended up routing from the battlefields. They are gone from the match. I don't know exactly where they're at, uh, but they are out of there. So we're down to the final few units here. Another unit did come back on the flank. Going to be shooting me on the side here. Uh, second Delaware getting hit super hard. And there they go. So we're going to fast forward just a little bit here. Um, my guys... I, I know it's pretty much lost, but I'm going to have a final huzzah on this hillside in a little bit. So continuing the volley fire here. The whole unit is lost. And I see that the Confederate forces are now moving in on the flank. So I'm going to fall back uh, once again, regain this high ground and position myself. Um, but yeah, <laughs> oh, these poor guys are getting shot in the back as they retreat. Once again, I don't want to win them just because it drops their morale but to be fair their morale is already pretty low for most of these guys <laughs> tired concerned general dead yeah i'd be concerned as well yeah they're all concerned about their general being dead i don't blame them casually sustained yeah not looking good but what a close match so we have uh i believe seven confederate line units up against four. All right, make that five. So second Delaware gonna be trying to cause as much mayhem in this line as possible. Ooh, little lag there. Yeah, pushing up. Now there's there's one moment. <laughs> I forgot which unit it was. I'll show you guys in a bit though. But I had a good laugh about it. Um, but yeah, currently waiting to form up and engage. Come on, Dolph, you turn around, boys. Turn around. There you go. The last of the zoovs here. Give them hell. Man, their accuracy looks just like mine. <laughs> so there they go. Two units routing from the battlefield. Now take a look at this. So we have the 10th New Hampshire here. Uh, and he's going to decide, hey, let's just do a massive <laughs> firing line. It's all just hold fire and fire all at once. So he's going to be doing that in a little bit. What is this guy screaming about? He's going to go lost. Interesting. We're actually doing all right right now. No losses, which is nice. I don't know if these guys are taking losses right now. Oh, 44th came back. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. I think they're starting to take some shots now. Now, another thing to note is uh, Clink's going to be bringing up his artillery here. <laughs> He's got Anderson's division pushing in. Yes, sir. They look like Napoleons here. I'm pretty sure they are. Ooh, a little bit more lag. Uh, but what he's going to be trying to do is he's going to get some flanking fire on my guys. And I'm going to have absolutely none of that. So I'm going to be shifting over my general here, over to the far left flank. we got a Hancock here. And I'm just waiting to give him the order. And there he goes. So charging in at a pretty slow pace. And I'm going to be trying to take out this artillery. However, following order. These line units were off fire at will, and I got in their range, and these poor guys. <laughs> oh, there goes Hancock. Just a massacre, dude. Absolute massacre from these guys. 
I made it. I was so close to making it. So close. <laughs> but it just got wrecked. Even at my own artillery kind of hitting close to my guys. Some pretty good shots though. I'm trying to disturb the morale. But here we go. Final couple units. And this is where Clink uh, decides, hey, let's just go ahead, get everyone loaded, and then we're just going to unload on you. So 10th New Hampshire sitting at 141 men right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at this carnage in just a second. So last unit of the life. Ah, that wasn't as bad as I last remembered. <laughs> I thought it was going to be worse. It was like three guys dead. Ah, oh, who cares? It's nothing. It's nothing. So yeah, um, that is pretty much the game. My artillery is going to be shooting for a while. He's going to have to come take out my artillery, but nothing too exciting happens there. Pretty obvious these guys are going to lose this match, but what a great game. Um, if you guys do want to download the mod once again, it will be in the description as well as Click's channel. So I will see you guys at the end. All right, so taking a look at the results here. Uh, we had a staggering 6,600 deaths, getting 3,300 kills, uh, and then Clink on the other hand getting uh, 3,500 casualties and killing 6,000. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like, and I'll see you guys soon.